Hey y'all, what's up? Um, coming by because I was on YouTube and I was watching um the lady whose channel name is Hearing Crystal Clear. I'm sure you probably heard of her. Uh, she talks a lot about this Rona virus. And um, she's in the medical field, and they keep taking her videos down, and this, that, and the other. But um, she was saying that there's pus in milk, and I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to buy regular milk anymore. Um, this, we don't even hardly drink that much milk anyway. This expires today. Um, today is the 20th. What's today? Oh, it's, it expires tomorrow, the 21st. But anyways, she was saying, so she says, you know, milk causes cancer, right? And I'm kind of like, you know, she's so controversial, but you can't help but look up stuff that people say. Um, I did, it does say that the protein called casein, um, can cause cancer. So, but, um, there's just, um, let me see this one article. It says, you're drinking pus. This is called animallaid.org. This is from the UK, I guess. Because dairy milk is pooled together in large tanks, virtually all dairy milk contains this pus. A liter of milk can have up to 400 million somatic cells, that means pus cells, before it is, before it is considered unfit for people to drink. And I can believe that is true, y'all. Um, something, you know, that Google does FDA allow pus in milk. Let's see. In the U.S., the FDA allows 750 million pus cells in every liter of milk. In Europe, regulators allow 400 million pus cells per liter. In Australia, there is no limit on how much pus is allowable. Um, I don't know about that, y'all. And in case y'all want to know the definition. That's a pus is usually when you have an infection. Um, pus is a thick yellowish or greenish opaque liquid produced in a f infected tissue consisting of dead white blood cells and bacteria with tissue debris and serum. Um, let me see what else here. And then, there are, there's milk.org that says, there is no pus in milk. All milk, including human breast milk, naturally contains somatic white cells, which are critical in fighting infection and ensuring good health. I don't know about that, y'all. I think I'm going to um, start getting the almond milk. Um, my parents already have the almond milk. And I get the almond milk from time to time. Um, they say if you don't want to drink pus, you can um, buy or make soy, almond rice, oat. Or any type of nut milk. I know almond milk, soy milk, and cashew milk, rice milk. They're all pretty good, actually. I've tried them all. Um, you know, a, a lot of people say that they're <clears throat> we're not supposed to be drinking milks from animals anyway. So I am actually kind of convinced on this issue. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think um especially you know being most of us are probably probably lactose intolerant um 
Yeah, so I don't really know what to think about this. Because you can substitute those types of milk for cooking as well. And they have the cheese and all that too. But, yeah, let me look up casein real quick, y'all. Um, casein. Casein. Let's see. Is casein harmful to humans? Dairy linked to cancer. Regular consumption of dairy products has been linked to prostate cancer. Dairy is also associated with increased risk of lung cancer, breast cancer, and ovarian cancer in people with lactose intolerance. Yeah, guys, I would encourage you um, to do your own research about this, too. Uh, because this is, when she said that, it just kind of, something kind of just switched over in my head. And I was like, man, that, that sounds very accurate, actually. Um, so, don't forget to rate the video. Share the video, comment your thoughts, okay? And you guys take care, and I will see you next time.